All right, we'll start for questions for either AZ or Aliyah. Again, raise your hand. We'll get the microphone over to you. We'll start with Dom over here on the left. Uh, AZ, when uh, did you know for sure that you were ready to play today? When was the decision made? How was it made? Uh, you know, how'd you feel when you woke up this morning before you were play? Well, this was, this was always my goal, was to come back for tournament time. Um, so I'd been working up to it this last week, individuals practice. So I was, I was mentally prepared and then waking up this morning, uh, I was very excited. We'll go right here in the front row, we'll get the mic over to you. So you can pass it down, please. Easy. what have these last couple of months been like for you, both emotionally and physically, as you've worked towards getting back? It's been tough having to be on the sidelines so much, having to watch everyone struggle through all the ups and downs we've been through. Um, but that was my motivation, just to keep working hard. My goal is to get back on the floor. So every day, working hard in rehab, doing what I need to, all my extra stuff, hoping that I could get back here at the end of the season with them. Right here in the front right. AZ, what were the expectations you had for yourself, and were you just patient when you missed the first few shots, knowing that it would come eventually as long as you've been on? Yeah, I was really nervous kind of leading up to it, thinking, like, this is my first game. Like, am I going to do well? Um, but then I remember this, this is my first game, so I wasn't worried. I knew that um, I've been doing well, so kind of just have confidence in all the work I've put in and not to not to overthink it and what happens, happens. If I miss, I'll make the next one. Third row on the left. Aliyah, this was your guys' first game, but not, not finishing within single digits of your opponent in the past 10. <laughs> well, how does that feel just to have the more wiggle room now? Um, I'm going to pass this question off to AZ. <laughs> no, <okay>. um, <laughs> no, I think that it was a great um, first game for us. I think that we stuck to the game plan defensively and um, we flowed offensively off of their, their turnovers and off of our um, de defensive rebounds. So I think that was a good flow for us, especially coming in for a first game off a big break for us. And I think that we can only learn from this game. Easy. Whenever you shot, and even though you missed the first few, like the crowd kind of seemed like they were holding their breath, waiting to be able to give you that reception that they felt like you deserved. And then finally making those back-to-back -back threes, what did it feel like getting that reception from the crowd? The crowd is always amazing. The fans here are great. So just getting to be there, be in this atmosphere, in this environment with everyone, I mean, it's a great feeling to hear everyone scream. But then also all my missed shots, Aliyah rebounded, so it's basically like I was making it anyway. Here the Third row again on the left. Um, Aliyah, you guys held Georgetown under, you know, 10 points in the first quarter. You know, Mafuse, you guys have allowed to a team in, you know, two months. Just what was the emphasis in terms of setting the tone defensively early, and how did that carry over for you guys into the rest of the game? Uh, we wanted to come out and compete and be competitive and hit the – make sure we took the first punch, and I think that's what we did in the first quarter, and then it just – lasted up throughout the 40 minutes, and I think that um, we just need to c keep up this intensity, uh, both defensively to help with our offense and um, to keep being aggressive as we are. Front row, Tim. AC, uh, did it kind of feel full circle for you to come back today against Georgetown, the team you had, um, you know, last played against before you had gone down again? You know, how did it feel, you know, once you got that first shot down, you know, like, did you feel like you were back and really back to your, uh, you know, yourself when you were back healthy a couple months ago? Yeah, I did. I actually feel better now than I did the last time we played them. So it was nice to be back on the floor against the same team and that little rematch. Back here again in the third row. I'm Elliot. Today you were you were named the national ballot for the Wooden Award. I know we talked yesterday about you know where you feel like you've improved the most, but where do you feel like you've learned the most this year? Um. I think that I've learned the most about just through uh, all the challenges that we face as a team. Um, you know, I think everyone's having that next man up mentality and there's a lot of positions where I had to be that for my teammates and I think I kind of just took that responsibility and um, that accountability for myself to help better myself and for the team and I think that I'm just proud of how far I've come here. but. You know, we're not done yet. We still have two more goals that we're trying to accomplish here for the rest of the season. So I'm just happy to be here with my teammates and to be successful. We've got two questions here in the front row. We'll start front right, and then we'll go front left. 
Aliyah, emotionally, can you explain what it means to the team to have AZ back? And then just from a game perspective, the spacing on the floor and all of that, what it means to, to you guys down low to have her back? Uh, first, emotionally, I think that we all just took a breath and we're like, okay, we're kind of going to the right footsteps of being a complete team again. Um, and I think everyone was happy to have her on the court because uh, it was going back to our first game of the season when um, we felt that we were, you know, everything was clicking for us and uh, we were on to have a great season. But, you know, AZ coming back, I think she adds a lot to the team, both offensively and defensively, and it showed tonight. And um, even though she, it took her a couple shots to get into the rhythm, she did knock them down eventually, which we all knew that she would. Front left here. Easy. You, you said you feel better than you did last time you played these guys. I mean, is the knee just much more stable at this point? How do you feel better? Are you um, better, in better rhythm? All around, just my knee, my confidence, and um, just playing with my team like the last few days in practice felt really good. Our chemistry, our flow, everything, it just felt like everything was clicking.